Today we'll be looking at the global settings for a color spike pattern. In the case of color spikes advanced patterns, shape, slide, show, and fire, globals are set apart from the true pattern data and can be changed from both the app and the color spike itself. When a pattern is reloaded, these globals are reset to the original values set when they were created. A pattern's globals can be set in the pattern editor, but can also be changed on the fly from the remote pane or on the device. Right now we have a shapes pattern with two small static shapes at each end of the color spike and one shape in the middle that has an animated size. The global settings for a shape pattern are brightness, which controls the brightness of the pattern, speed, which sets the overall speed for animations, echo, which controls the decay of the lights and is a value between 0, which is off, and 4. The higher the echo, the longer it takes the LEDs to decay. In most cases, this manifests as a motion blur effect. Mirror splits the stick in half and mirrors one half onto the other. The options are off, top to bottom, and bottom to top. Top to bottom mirrors the top half of the stick onto the bottom, and bottom to top does the opposite. Tiling takes a section of the middle and tiles it from 0, which is off, to 5 times. A tiling of 2 takes the middle half and creates 2 tiles out of it. A tiling of 3 takes the middle third and takes 3 tiles out of it, and so on and so on. These options can be stacked in various configurations to create a number of impressive effects. When you've finished editing, you can reload the pattern to reset the globals back to their original state. 